Well, hello and welcome to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time visiting me, thank you so much for coming by. And I hope you will share my channel and uh, give it a thumbs up if you find the information on here informative or fun or helpful. Or if you don't like it, still give it a thumbs up. You might like the next one, right? Anyway, and those of you that have been traveling with me uh, through my journey for these past several months, thank you so much for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. And let's just jump right into my update on the Anthony Dickey method that I modified for my own natural hair. Last night, uh, or yesterday rather, I washed my hair using the Anthony Dickey method, uh, but I modified it. And I showed you in that video that I used um, uh, Shea Moisture's leave-in conditioner, uh, Jamaican black castor oil leave-in, and my own do-it-yourself eco-styler modification uh, gel with uh, essential oils and things that I put in it. And, uh, and I did a wash and go. I tried a wash and go. So I slept on it last night. <laughs> when I went to bed last night, my hair was dry. I did have to take the diffuser to it a couple of times, but it was dry finally when I went to bed last night. So let me just say two things. Number one, I don't like the feeling that the gel leaves on my hair. It leaves my hair feeling very stiff. So, of course, you know, when I wake up in the morning, it's all smooshed together. It's smashed down, it's smooshed together, and it's hard. My concern with that is that my hair will break. My hair is very fine, and um, it's not uh, medium or high density. I think it's low density, and I'm concerned about it snapping my hair, the gel. So... Uh, that's one thing that I don't like about that gel. I may be able to find another gel that doesn't leave my hair feeling that way. The other thing is uh, that because it is that way, it's you don't want to manipulate, or I don't want to manipulate my hair too much because I don't want it to snap off. So I ended up having to re-wet my hair. Um, and if you don't have something pressing to do, that's that's fine, you know, if you don't mind doing that. I particularly don't want to have to get in the shower every single day just to wet my hair uh, in the mornings if I want to go out, particularly in the winter. So I'm not sure that this particular method or wash and go is good for winter. Uh, it's not winter here, it's spring, but still. And so uh, my hair is wet again. I had I basically almost had to start over just to make my hair pliable enough for me to be able to do anything with it. I didn't want to take a pick to it because it was so stiff. And I didn't even use a lot of gel. I didn't go section by section like they um, uh, recommend that you do. And uh, because I, did, I just didn't want that cast on my hair, but it was there anyway. So anyway, I started over this morning. And the other thing I wanted to say is when I wet my hair this morning and was raking through it and it started to dry, it started to look like, more like an afro. So the definition wasn't there. Um, so I, I had to start over. I did not add additional gel. I just added more conditioner to my hair and not nearly as much because it already had conditioner on it. So it is saturated. Again, it's wet. It is wet, 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 wet. Very wet. <laughs> so, um, and what I'll do to help dry up some of this is what I did yesterday is I just took a paper towel and just kind of scrunched my hair. So um, that's my update about the method. Uh, I think it's just a matter of preference and convenience. If you're working a job where you can't, you just can't go to work with your hair soaking wet every day, dripping down your suit or whatever, then this is not going to work for you. Um, if you don't, if you don't have that type of a situation where that would cause a problem for you, or um, or if you don't have the extra time to let it set for an hour or thirty minutes and then diffuse your hair to get some of the liquid out, this method is not going to work for you. So I don't have that type of a nine to five type of a job. Um, my uh, hours are very flexible, so um, it's fine. You know. Um, but I did want to show you how it looks today. Uh, let me see if I can turn around and you can see the back. I hope I don't drip on my... Let me put something here. <laughs> okay.
So, and here's a picture of the side. So I really don't know if it's quite as defined as it was yesterday, but like I said, I didn't use all that gel that I did yesterday. So I figured it was still already some gel in my hair. So that's my update. Um, it'll work for me sometimes. Sometimes it won't work for me just as a matter of convenience. So um, um, make your own decision about it. Let me know what you think of how this turned out. This is really like a refresher uh, wash and go. It's a refreshed wash and go. And, um, let me know what you think of it or uh, if you've tried his method before or what method you try. And also, if you know of a gel that doesn't leave that hard cast on your hair, which I don't know of any, um, perhaps I need something with a soft hold, but then I don't know if it'll do the trick as far as defining the curls. Anyhow, leave your suggestions below. I really would appreciate that because I'm trying to find something that'll work for uh, thin, fine hair that won't leave that hard cast on it, okay? So thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it uh, helpful or fun or whatever. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Keep it natural.